Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I am going to be doing another Asheron's Call quest walkthrough, this time for the uh, Major Stinging Stone, so the Acid uh, Stone for your Atom weapons, uh, or Risparian weapons. Uh, you know, this is another uh, video where I had a request to do all the Major Atlan Stones, so I'm working my way through them. Uh, I will link in the description uh, to the other uh, Atlan Stone videos that I've already recorded. All right, so to get to the Incunabula Vault, wow, In Incunab, anyway. <laughs> oh man, I don't know, names in this game are just uh, fun. Anyway, so this is a pretty easy one to get to. There is a uh, alternate portal that you can get to from Sawado to the Mire Hill Sediment portals, and then it's a, a very short run to the uh, dungeon entrance. I'm gonna hop right in and get started. Now, this is one that I can remember running back in the day. Uh, I just, I remember how hard all of the, um, although hit you when I was doing this. So hopefully now, you know, I'm level 142, although these soldiers don't really uh, pose much of a threat anymore. All right, so to start out, you're going to want to basically continue heading north in, through all of the tunnels. Um, now, in that entrance room that we just came from, there are two ramps down, and you're going to want to take the north one. And then, yeah, just generally make your way northeast until you come out into this room. And then you're still going to want to just kind of generally make your way northeast. Uh, that's pretty accurate for the entire dungeon. Now, you're going to uh, come out here into this room with all these bridges. You can just run through over all the bridges. It's a straight path. There's no choices to make or anything. Uh, once you're done with the bridges, you're going to come to this T. You can just kind of go around into the big room and continue making your way uh, north, northeast. I think north, northeast. Yeah, it should be... Hmm. There should be one path that leads off from this, maybe it's this one. Okay, yeah, so my mistake, just straight north from that one. It's going to take you around. Um, and this is kind of the decision point for you when you're running this quest. Now, are you feeling like you can make a really long jump, or do you want to play it safe? I gotta see what my jump is if I want to try to attempt this or if I should put some points into it real quick. But there's two choices. So you can either jump across this acid pit to the other side. That hallway right there is where you go for the major acid stone. Or you can take the safer route and you can go down this ramp. It basically leads around to those uh, these other ones over here, kind of underneath the acid pit, and is, you know, a safer route. But I think... I think our jump's high enough. Yeah, we hit the ceiling, so no problem. You know, if you're not feeling it, you just you just go around. It's a linear path, and it leads uh, up over here. But yeah, I'm glad I did that jump because that was fun. That's why I remember doing that back in the day. It's great. So linear path to these bridges. You'll come to the end. There's a surface portal. You just make a right east. Um, and keep running through. I think the stone should be... Yeah, okay. So it's the same thing as in the other ones where you've got kind of the other gems, but you want the major stinging stone. And again, the textbook can be turned into Bretzolf the Translator in Craigstone, but it doesn't offer any kind of reward. Um, so yeah, there's your major stinging stone. That was actually much easier, actually, than I even remembered it being. Um... But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.